Hi, I'm John Bollinger. Welcome to my series of videos on how to use the Bollinger Band Toolkit on TradeStation. Today we're going to look at using the TradeStation application radar screen coupled with Bollinger Bands to find opportunities for trading. To get going, we're going to start by opening a fresh workspace. So we're going to go to the File menu, click on New, and click on Workspace. Now we're going to go right back to the File menu, click on New again, and open a new trading app window. Here you see Radar Screen, and that's the application we're going to use. So just simply click on that, and it'll open a new Radar Screen application inside this workspace. It's going to be the only application in this workspace, so just Let's expand it to fill the full workspace. The first thing we're going to need to do is add a list of securities to screen. Um, I'm going to use a list of index components to do this. Um, in this case, it's going to be the S&P 100, the OEX. So right-click inside any open cell and click the fifth item down, which is Insert Symbol List. I'm going to use one of the TradeStation symbol lists, and we're going to click on Index Components, S&P indexes and then the S&P 100 index. Now we click OK and our list will be very quickly populated. You can see um, that there's a lot of information and that the feed is immediately live. This is going to be a real-time screening application. So for the first thing we're going to want to do is get rid of some of these fields and then add an indicator field of our own. So Come up into the header, right click, and say Format All Analysis Techniques. We're going to get rid of some of the fields that we don't need. So we're going to get rid of Interval. We're going to get rid of Net Change. And then Bid, Asked, High, Low, and Volume are all going to go. So the only two fields that we're going to be left with are the Last Price and the Net Change. Now we're going to add our own field an indicator called BB status and we have a special version of BB status that was built just for radar screen you see it here BBTK BB status dot RS on your platform it'll be prepended with the words Bollinger Band Toolkit as that's how um, TradeStation organizes the applications in the App Store so highlight BB status dot RS and click add and then click OK and we're ready to go to clear the highlighting, just click in any empty cell, and the list will immediately populate. The first thing you're going to see is that the background of each of the indicator cells, each of the BB status indicator cells, is colored, either red, green, or blue. It, the cell is colored red if we are in the upper 10% of the range of bandwidth. You can think of this as being either at or near a bulge. The cells are colored green if we're in the lower 10% of bandwidth, um, and that is um, that we are at or near a squeeze. Recall that a bulge is typically the end of a trend, and a squeeze is typically the beginning of the trend. So we highlight these um, these securities to call your attention to um, securities where um, you need to pay attention. The look back period for determining a bulge or a squeeze is 125 periods. So, um, for example, Apple, um, which is currently at a bulge, means that it is at the highest value of bandwidth that it has experienced for the past 125 periods. And this doesn't matter whether you're looking at daily data or hourly data, 10 minute daily data, whatever. It's always 125 periods. If you look down, CVS um, is in a squeeze, and that means that um, CVS is experiencing the lowest bandwidth that it has um, seen in the past 125 periods. Right above it, CSCO, Costco, um, is you see the background is highlighted green but this word squeeze is not printed it means it's near a squeeze um, just like at the top of the list up here a b b v is highlighted red but the word bulge is not printed it means that it's near a bulge but not actually at a bulge now if you look down the rest of the list, you see that we have some textual descriptions of what's going on with the securities. For example, Amazon has just returned to, to the 
inside of the Bollinger Bands after having been outside the lower band. So we say that it's back in lower. Um, if you look over here, MDLZ is back in from above the upper band. And then um, down here we have uh, PM just breaking out of the upper band. And um, let's see, do we have... Um, we don't have an example of a breakout um, of the lower band in this list. Um, if you if you want, you can click on this header, um, and it will sort uh, it will sort all of the messages um, in order of uh, in in alpha order. So essentially, it gives you a list of the securities that you need to be checking out to see what's happening um, with that security. So that's um, very quickly. Um, what's going on with the Bollinger Band Toolkit in TradeStation um, using um, the Toolkit's function BB status to screen for opportunities and areas that you should be paying attention for in lists of securities that you choose.